I got cut off there. I don't know why. Anyways, he died a hero. Pushed his mom out of the way of a truck. And he, she still got clipped. But she only had a few superficial wounds. Um, he got hit with the full force of that truck going about... I don't know how fast that guy was going. But it, it killed him. And I remember... I remember seeing him on Monday at lunch with me and some other friends, and <clears throat> then Tuesday, I noticed he wasn't there. I wondered why he wasn't hanging out where we usually did, and then I just kind of dismissed it, thinking, oh, he's probably busy. And then Wednesday was when we found out what had happened. But anyways, I just want to let Sean know that um, my heart goes out to him and his family right now. Loss, no matter who it is, is never easy. But it's especially difficult when it's someone that's very close to you. And, you know, I, I've got some people in my family, I've got a couple of people in my family whose health is just... Their health is honestly, it's kind of, it's crap. It's, it's not the worst. It could definitely be worse, but it's still pretty bad. And I hope that they live long enough for my son to be able to know who they are. At least. I mean, he's almost three, so I'm hoping I can get another three, four, five years out of it <laughs> before, you know, they pass on, but... At the same time, I don't want these people to suffer. Particularly one of them. Uh, she doesn't deserve to suffer. But anyways, I thought I'd post this because I, I just today found out about Sean's family. You know, his, his, the loss of his father. And I just want to say shame on the people who are making jokes about this. People who get on his, on the video like that and dislike it. Anytime he said anything about his parents and you dislike it. And apparently there's people that post memes about it. And not memes like trying to make him feel better memes. Like they're joking about his father's death. And he literally told the people in the video that they're scum and that he, he hates them. And I agree, I would too. Like how how dare you take something? How dare you take a tragedy like that, something that is tragic, and these these people are trying to deal with it. They're trying to grieve, you know. They're they're losing their minds a little bit. Every time somebody close to you dies, you lose a little piece of yourself. They're trying to deal with this and process it and get through it, and you guys are up in here making jokes. That is incredibly disrespectful. But just know that you're going to get what's coming to you one day. You're going to need people's help and they're not going to be there. Somebody, when I was a kid, told me that those are the kind of people that, although technically everyone dies alone because nobody can accompany you to the other side, those are the kind of people that will die with only doctors and nurses around them. And that they might not even be there. They'll be like in a hospital bed, nurses will be off doing something, and that person will die and then come back and be like... Oh shit, this guy died. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to sound like a horrible person. I'm not saying I hope these people die because they're making jokes about this. I just, I hope that life treats those people better so they'll stop making jokes like that. Because clearly something's wrong in their life. Something's got to be wrong in their life for them to be making jokes about death. Come on, guys. This man just lost his father. He made jokes about his dad all the time. But so does Markiplier. And, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that make jokes about their fathers. And it's, it's a joke because, it's a running joke because nine times out of ten when one of the parents leaves and doesn't come back, it's usually the dad. So these guys were just poking fun at that joke itself. They were making fun of the joke. Sean was never actually making fun of his father. His father, from what I've heard, was an incredible, an incredibly hard working man who was always there for his family. 
and he did everything he could to provide for them and take care of them. And like I said, if you're one of those people out there that's making jokes about him dying and you're being like a jerk to Sean and his family and you're being disrespectful, then shame on you. And I honestly hope that you get what's coming to you sooner rather than later. Because maybe if it's sooner rather than later, you'll stop doing it and you'll become a better person. Don't don't ever make fun of situations. Even, I don't care if it's somebody's pet cat that died. Do not make fun of the situation and make memes about it. That's disrespectful. If you're, if you're not going to have respect for that person as a person... Uh, or respect for their family and, you know, like, the loss that they're going through, all the, the grief that they're feeling. You need to at least have respect for the dead. Okay? Respect the man that died because he was a good man and he doesn't deserve you to be making fun of him. Is your life really so shitty that you have nothing better to do than sit there and make stupid jokes and memes about a tragic situation? Really? Come on, grow up. It's my cat over there. That's just all I wanted to say about this. I felt like something needed to be said. Please, stop making memes and jokes about this. Because although he may not do anything right now, personally, if it was me, you know what I'd do? I would find everybody on my channel that made a meme or a joke or anything like that. And... I don't know if you can do it on YouTube, but I know if I had them on, like, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or stuff like that, I would unfriend them, you know, like, basically kick them off of my page and ban them from being able to be a follower again. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube, but if you can, that's what I would do. I know it doesn't really do much, but it would make me feel better. For sure. So, I want you guys to go to Jacksepticeye's page, subscribe to his page, leave comments on his videos, you know, um, tweet him, things like that. Just give him, give him some love, guys. Give him and his family some love. Virtual hugs, condolences, all of that, you know, express your sorrow for what he's having to go through because... Although, I, like I said, although I've never lost a parent, I know people who have. And <clears throat> according to my grandpa, losing a father is very, very difficult. Especially if your father was a good, hardworking man who tried to provide for his family. But losing a mother is even harder. That's not necessarily true. It really depends on which parent you're closest to. But like I said, I want you guys to go to his channel, his Twitter, everything like that. Subscribe to him. Just leave him. Send him all the love in the world because he truly deserves it. He's a really good person. And he he deserves to know that we are there for him when he returns. Like, also, Sean, if you're seeing this, just take as much time as you need, man. We'll be here when you come back. And if you decide not to, we will be sad, but we will understand. And in the end, it doesn't matter what we feel. It matters what you feel. So if you feel like, you know, if in a couple of weeks you think, I really need to get back on and post a video, but I'm just, I'm just not quite ready. Maybe I should just do it anyway. No. Wait until you're ready. Just wait until you're ready, okay? We understand that you know, you have a loss you have to deal with. You lost your father. You know, it's not a it's not a big deal if you're gone for a while. We get it. So once again, guys, go out there, leave him some love. You know, express your condolences. Tell him you understand that he needs to take a break and everything like that. And you know what? Just take a little bit of time out of your day today and go back Watch some of his other videos. Leave likes and, you know, comments and stuff. It's not going to make him feel better, like, grief-wise, but it will show him that, like, you know, we love and appreciate him as a person. 
Oh, and Sean, if you happen to watch this, this is my cat, Belle. She says hi, and she's sorry for your loss. Yes, good girl. I would film Simba, but I don't know where he went. So once again, I'm really sorry for your loss. We all are. We, you know, we love you, man. Just take some time off to deal with it, D to deal with the grief, you know. Grief itself, the pain of losing somebody never really goes away, but you learn how to deal with it. You learn how to, you know, experience it and, and move on. But it, it does take time. When my great-grandma and great-grandpa, my great-grandpa passed away in 2008. My great-grandma died in 2016, so they're eight years apart. Both times, it, it took me probably a good solid month to fully be able to, like, process all of that and think of them and not cry. So it, it doesn't matter how long it takes, you know, Jacksepticeye to get through this. He needs to know that we'll be there for him no matter what. So go out there and spread the love, guys. That's that's what we should do. We should just stop spreading negativity. We should spread positivity. So take that from this video. If that's the only thing you get, take that. Go out and spread some positivity. Okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.